Uh, what I'm going to do here is show you how to swap out um, one of these carburetors, uh, obviously a spark plug, and the uh, fuel line system, if you can see that here on these uh, echo blowers. This is a <clears throat> the PB250 uh, blower, and um, I've had this probably for, I don't know, three or four seasons, and every single season it gets worse and worse and worse, and then eventually it just, now it's leaking gas out of the bottom of the line and it just kind of doesn't really want to run that well and so on and so forth so let's get down to it um, let me show you the carb kit here this is the uh, HIPAA I guess carb kit these are found on Amazon um, you'll see here part number you can pause the video there and read it uh, I got this for 17 bucks and um, I figured well you know it's not a you know, brand name carburetor by any means, I don't think, until I get into it here, but let's see, let's see what we get in the bag. Okay, here's the basic setup. You get a fuel and return line here, a uh, new suction screen that goes in the tank, uh, a couple of extra gaskets, a couple of extra primer bulbs. This is the L7T, um, looks like a generic spark plug, it's not an NGK. Um, you get an air filter, just a typical cotton mesh air filter and here's the carb you get off of Amazon for 17 bucks so let's take a look at it here uh, doesn't look like there's any factory engravings of the OEM stuff so definitely a reproduction um, throttle seems pretty decent on it pretty good recoil on it so yeah let's uh, let's dig in and put this on that Okay, I'm going to first start by removing the air filter here. This goes without saying. You want to take off and keep all this old stuff separate from the new stuff. And I think it also goes without saying, work in a clean space so you're not getting contaminants in here. So get the f air filter off first. Go ahead and pull the spark plug wire here. There, I got a pretty old plug on here, but it's an NGK. And then what you want to do is inspect, and what we're going to do first is back out those two uh, hex screws. Okay, so these are a T27 bit, and basically you just, these are a little bit longer. Get it to that point there, I just want to show you. This here, it just takes off the entire assembly. So now you're going to be left with this stuff here. So here's the back of the air filter housing, that's going to come off. And then that frees up the entire carburetor assembly here. So let's go ahead and inspect this. So what we just did, just by taking out those two main screws, is just freed up all of that. So it's pretty simple. Here we are with a better look here of what that did. Now let's go ahead and pay attention to a couple of things. First thing is here is the throttle linkage. So pay attention to how this is attached. This basically when you pull your throttle trigger here, this is going to move this throttle linkage back and forth. So the first thing we want to do is disconnect that, okay? Make sure that's kind of out of the way. And then just kind of pull back and pay attention to that gasket there. Let's move this here. And what you're going to use here in place of this big paper gasket that kind of goes all the way down here is in your kit. It came with one of two gaskets, so you want to match those up. We'll get to that in a minute. So. Let me go ahead and grab a screwdriver here, and I'm gonna gently pry this up. We wanna get all these lines out of here. Okay, so here we have a flathead here. I just rotated the blower around a little bit. I'm gonna take off the gas cap, because that's in the way. And obviously, make sure your blower's empty. And go ahead and... Now the kit doesn't come with this, um, this gasket here for the gas cap, so you wanna be careful with this gasket, but this just pries up. Take your time, just like that, and then you want to just take it all out, just like this. Okay, set that down. Now let's analyze that. Take a look. I do have some gas left in my blower here, but not too bad. Okay, so let's get these 
set up. So that's what you just pulled. Got a little rag here, clean up. So that's what you just pulled off the blower. And this is what you're gonna replace here. So pretty straightforward. Actually, it goes that way. There and there. So kind of study that there. And this, oh actually, I'm, I was wrong. I thought this was just a zip tie. This does actually come with the new uh, tether here that goes into the gas tank. So awesome for that. So let's look at, man, I'm saying so a lot, huh? Let's look at this. Let's look at our connections. So this line up here is exactly what this one is here. Then you have a return, which is this yellow line. And then you have a pickup line, which is the main screen line. So what you want to do is slip those on. These screws aside. Try to keep a clean workspace. Make sure your orientation is correct. Here's the main suction line, goes up through here, connects on the first venturi here. And these are just these are just slip fittings, so you're gonna just I should stop looking at the camera here. Just slip these on. And when you slip them on, I like to give them like a little twist. But be careful because these are plastic barb fittings. It's only a $17 carburetor, so you don't really know if it's gonna break. The return, which is this line down here, which is this one here. This one's gonna go on next. Twist right there, just like that. And that just sits up there, just like that one did. So now this drops fresh into the gas tank here. And what we're gonna do is gasket this bad boy up. So let's just get that picked out first. We got two. Let's look at how. There's a, it's actually this gasket here. So if we look at this, sorry, like that. Or maybe not. Which one is it? There we go. That one there. You got your two bolt holes your primary hole, and then it's got, it's a universal gasket, so it's got a notch out here. So this, if we pull this, if it'll let us pull it off, like that. We match these two up, just like this. This would go just like that on here. So that's how we're gonna mate it back up to the engine. All right, here we have a nice little clean area here. And I want to kind of direct your attention to it here. Here's where we're working. Let's move that out of the way so you can see. So, first order of business is to get the main uh, carburetor line back in here. So drop and drop this in first. It's for your suction with the filter screen on it. It's your pickup. Put that in there first. Kind of feed all that in. And this has a, uh, it's like a, a tapered like slip ring seal that it does. So you want to get kind of start one corner on it and then you want to work it in with a screwdriver. And I don't know how well you can see this, but it's just a press fit. Just work that in there. The biggest thing with stuff like this is when you're dealing with this rubber stuff is to watch that you're not pushing too hard with the metal points. You don't want to put holes in any of this stuff. You're dealing with fuel lines, so that stuff is not always the strongest stuff in the world. So it's just a matter of kind of just working it in there. Don't rush it. Don't do this if you're in a rush to try to get this thing back up on the job. I don't know what it is about the gas, the ethanol and the gas, but this been given all these power tools of mine a bad name. I, I purposely went out and bought all Echo stuff years ago, thinking it was, you know, 
pretty good, decent equipment, and the gas just makes it run like crap, and then you start hating the brand, and you start to realize that it's not the, it's not the, any of these brands. I have a steel blower that I've had for two months that just completely crapped out on me. That's actually at the shop right now. I decided not to deal with that because it's under warranty. I got all of it in but this corner here. So if you could see here, I just got to work this side in here. I'm trying to light this thing is kind of hard. So I'm just going to continue on it. I'll probably fast forward. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's set. So now going back to the carb gasket. We got to reuse the cable out of the throttle. So this is fun bench work. You always got to pay attention. So let's do this now. Let's get this kind of out of the way. So I'm working on the old stuff. I'm gonna clear this off and this rotates like this. I'm gonna go up. With it, you probably can't see anything I'm doing here. Push it back and then it comes out. Just like that. And then this will just pull through. And then look in here. Push it through here. And is that two sided? You just use the screwdriver. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way here, so kind of get it to the point where it's kind of side saddled like that. And it kind of drops in sideways and then hold your thumb there and pull it back. And now you have a working throttle mechanism. So when my phone dropped, the uh, gasket slid off of here. So let's throw that back on there real quick. Make sure that the, that lines up. Okay, so now that you have the throttle linkage here, made it up to the carb, and that's functioning nicely, what we're going to want to do is mate the carburetor back to the body of the blower. So let's first take this piece. This is what you're going to run your screws through. And we're going to take this piece. This is what holds on the air cleaner. Kind of mate those two pieces up. Make sure the choke side, the choke flipper here, make sure that's facing toward you and get your screws, which are, where are mine? Here, drop these in first, here and here. Get those on the ready. And you're gonna kinda wanna, I put my two fingers back here, hold the screws so they don't fall out. Go ahead and run them, that's the wrong carburetor. Run them through the carb, left and right. Careful not to pinch your pickup, air pickup line. Get them like that. Then pay attention to your carburetor gasket here. Drop that on there. Flat side down. And let's get this to where you can hopefully see it pretty well. We're gonna kind of just loosely, all at once, kind of get these started by hand. Real slow. Not a race. And really what you're watching for at this point is watch that gasket in there. You don't want it to um, potentially kind of bind up. So then the next thing you want to do is before you tighten this thing all the way down is pull the throttle linkage back, which is back here. And just kind of, if you can see that, that on just like that and this what this does is when you pull the when you pull the throttle trigger it doesn't pull it in it actually pushes it outward so as this carb goes on to the motor it kind of all lines itself up at this point we'll throw the gas cap back on here in case anything falls in and since these are hand tight I'm gonna go ahead and run them in slow Snug on the first one. Let's see if you can see that there. 
just running these in like that. Nice and snug. And if you don't trust your drill capabilities, just use the clutch or obviously use a uh, hand driver. So that's together. So that's pretty much the in and out of it. The in and out of it, yeah, good word. Next is your air filter. So this air filter is original. I have never replaced this. It's pretty ugly. Pull that out. Got a bunch of crap in there. That's nasty. New one goes in with the ridge side facing the cleaner box here. Actually, this one is, it's gonna be a little, is it press fit? What is that? No, actually, it's gonna go this way. Sorry about that, guys. Your ridge goes actually in the body here and then you'll tighten it down with this. Just like so, test your throttle. That's functioning. I'm gonna do a nice little line tuck back here. They kind of had that hanging out there. My lines kind of did a little twist, kind of looks cool. There, and let's go ahead and test the primer bulb. Pulls in gas nice. Check for leaks. No leaks. Let me go grab my spark plug wrench. Let's drop a new plug in there. All right, the uh, spark plug that comes out of here is three quarter inch, so I'll just grab a three quarter. And mine's been in here since the day one, so this one's gonna be probably up. Oh, yeah, fun one to pop. You don't need to over tighten these things either. A lot of people do, and they just strip out. So that one's pretty, pretty crappy. Still worked, but pretty crappy. Now this, <laughs> this plug, um, it's, the gap is good on it. Um, I just checked the gap on it. Um, I can't remember what it was. I just looked it up when I had the camera off there. It's pre-gapped. I don't I don't know what this brand is, WX plug, but I'll drop it in just for the sake of the, the video. And these are just like everything else. Hand tighten them first. Make sure they thread all the way down before you bring a wrench on them. I don't know how good these plugs are, but definitely always try to run NGK if you can or Champion. Pretty good. Get a good snug pull on there. Now we're primed. I can start this up real quick in here. I'm not sure how easy this is gonna be to start. Haven't touched any of the knobs on the carburetor or anything else, so let's let's give it a whirl here. Nice. There you have it. So, pretty happy with that. This thing didn't run that good since uh, probably two seasons ago. So, that's the uh, carburetor replacement on the Echo. PB blower, PB250, and if you have any questions, pipe them down in the comments below. If you have a better way of doing it, as always, I am open to suggestions, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Later.